Hello again guys, today is officially Marshmallow Day. Google has started rolling out the factory images to all the Nexus devices. Not over the air yet as far as I know, but they did show up on the factory images page over on Google's site. I'll put links down in the video description to where you can get that. But basically, I went ahead and took my Nexus 9 and flashed Marshmallow over to it so we could take a quick look at it and see what comes with it. And I thought I would go through just the first boot and the, the initial setup and everything with you. And there we go, we're ready to go ahead and get started. So let's walk through this. We're gonna go ahead and pick a network to connect to. And it checks the connection, checks for any software updates, which is kind of funny considering it just got updated. Now it's asking if I want to set up from another device. Now we're gonna do this all fresh. And we're gonna add an account. And now we should be all signed in. We'll go ahead and give Google services their uh, permissions. Now it's asking if I want to add any more email addresses. I'm going to say not now. I'll do that later if I want to do that. And I'm not going to put a, a pin, a pattern, or a password on it because I don't really take this tablet anywhere with me. But you can do that if, that if that's something you want to do. We're going to go ahead and skip it. And it's asking if I want to restore anything. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up as a new device. And it's asking if I want Google now. Of course I do, yes I'm in. And we're there, we should be done now. Looks pretty similar to what we were already experiencing. When we swipe over, we see the Google Now experience. Just got some stories I should be reading and location information, stuff like that. From what I understand, the app drawer has changed quite a bit but it does not look all that different. The biggest difference I see is that you can now search through apps. So I could say Fit brings me to the Fit app. I could say News takes me to Newsstand and News and Weather. If you have hundreds and hundreds of apps, I could see that being really useful. Let's go take a look in the settings. I see there are lots and lots of updates available. We'll go ahead and start those as well. Lots of updates available. But let's go ahead and head into the settings and we'll see how everything looks. I think there are some new things in here as well. Yeah, there's a memory option now. Shows you the average memory use, the memory that's being used by apps. That's over the last three hours. Can't really say three hours when it hasn't been on three hours yet. There's supposedly some changes made to the app permissions. Although since it's just been set up, I don't think there's gonna be any additional apps that are already installed. Let's check with Google Keep. There you go, there's app permissions, and you can see the permissions that are available. When you go to use these, it's gonna ask for them. You can go ahead and turn them on if you want, but for example, if I wanted to use the microphone in Keep, I would have to actually open up the Keep app, and now that I'm inside of Keep, if I wanted to create a new note using the microphone, there we go. It says allow Keep to record audio, deny or allow. I'm gonna hit allow. Remind me to go to the store later. Remind me to go to the store later. And it does record the audio there. Remind me to go to the store later. So now I have a new thing there. And I should be able to go back into the app permissions there. Go to apps, go back down to keep. Go back to permissions. And you see it does say microphone. So I should be able to go back in and take that out if I don't want it. So that's definitely a very, very good thing to have. A lot of the new changes coming with Marshmallow, we're not gonna be able to see things like Doze. You can't really tell that right off the bat. USB Type-C and fingerprint support. None of that's available on the Nexus 9. We'll be able to check it out when the Nexus 5X gets here, but you can see here Android version 6.0. Go ahead and give it some taps and there's our, our little hidden thing. It is a Marshmallow and this must be our secret. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> it's the same flappy Android kind of animation but and just as impossible but it has a countdown now and you're going between marshmallows you're going between android marshmallows and it looks to be significantly easier even though i'm still terrible at it and there's a little m for marshmallow neat now the other big thing that i've heard about with this is that it should have google now on tap so you should be able to get context sensitive information so based upon whatever app you're in and everything it should be able if you hold the home button to figure out what you're doing and do a search based on that 
It says, want help with any screen? Turn on now on tap. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And I'm curious what it's gonna find because there's an awful lot on this screen. It found McDonald's, it found Jordan Marin, it found the Yogg's Cast and Too Fast, Too Furious. I think that actually did a really good job. I'm surprised. Although I don't see Too Fast, Too Furious on here anywhere. That may have been, oh, that that's probably what that's from, Fast and Furious. Well, that seems pretty accurate. I'm surprised and not surprised. Let's go into Google Play Games and see if there's anything in there. All right, so we've got a bunch of different games and things on here on the screen. We'll just do this. We've got some, some weird things kind of hanging off the screen. Hold the home button. It just scanned the whole screen. Let's see what Google Now on tap finds. It finds Square, the video game company, and that's all it seems to see. What if we pull these things back onto the screen? I see Need for Speed and Best Fiends and other things like that. It sees Top Gun, a film from way back in the day, and Square, the video game company. So either way, this is something that's gonna grow and it's gonna change, it's gonna you know, learn over time, I'm sure. And there is a lot more to this that, that I haven't even started to explore yet. But there is one more thing that I see that's supposed to be significantly improved, and that is the cut, copy, and paste functionality. So let me go ahead and just create a new document here, just a plain empty document. This is a new document. Okay, now we'll do some selection. There you go. Select all, cut, copy, insert link, add comment. We'll select from a different area. There you go, you got a same little drag window we had before, maybe a little bit easier to use, but we can do cut of, yeah, that seems to work pretty well actually. I like it, I'm a big fan. And I use a lot of select all and copy and paste and things like that. So I'm really interested to see how this works using it day to day. But I'm very excited to get my hands on Marshmallow. I hope you guys are as well. And actually let's take a look, quick look and see if there's any new wallpapers or anything. Just curiosity here. These are some interesting looking ones. Looks like Google Earth stuff, really. And these look like more material design things. I don't traditionally look a lot at the wallpapers, so I don't know if any of these are new or not, but they are very nice looking wallpapers. We'll go and set that as a new one. There you go. But you know what? That's going to be about all for me for today. If there's anything that I missed, and I'm sure there's something that I've missed, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video. And I'll definitely be taking another look at Marshmallow when the Nexus 5X arrives. Might even pick up the Nexus 6P down the road just to take a look at it on a different form factor. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up down below this video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. And we'll see you again next time.